Let's be honest, many of us flying the F-15E in DCS are using something like this. And if we need to hop in the back seat, we might use something like this. But what if I told you, with a little DIY action, you could fulfill your Wizzo dreams with something like this? And here's the best part. There is no coding involved, and it costs you less than $30. I'm going to show you how, but first, let's talk about why. Whether it's in the air, on land, the sea, or under it, the SimNet is your simulation network. I'm fascinated by the F-15E Strike Eagle. It's the answer to the question, what if we took the world's greatest air-to-air -air platform and made it the world's greatest air-to-everything platform? The result is affectionately referred to as the Mud Hen. Core to this two-engine beast is the two-person philosophy, a pilot and a wizzo or weapon system officer. In the Mud Hen, crew coordination is everything. To enable seamless operation of this complex aircraft, a lot of thought went into how the team interacts with the advanced sensors and weapons on board. The Wizzo, for example, has only a basic stick and throttle for flight controls. The rest of the goodies are on the hand controllers. These are fixed in place and control the left and right MPD and MPCDs respectively. Recently, Razbam Simulations, a developer of advanced flight simulation products, released the F-15E Strike Eagle for DCS World, the premier combat flight simulator of today. As an ardent fan of the F-14 Tomcat module, in particular the role of the Rio, I was drawn to the backseat cockpit where the Wizard resides. I was fascinated to see that the cockpit is actually quite sparse. The majority of controls are in fact on those two hand controller units. And so I got to work using plenty of screenshots and publicly available photos to create a close replica of these HCUs that can be 3D printed and wired up with no coding required. I am happy to announce that the files are now available on my Cults 3D page, and they are on sale right now for $12 US. Between my design and the cost of the materials and filament used, which was a bit under $18, that brings the total for this project to just under $30 US total. Now, some of you may be wondering why I am charging for these designs, and the truth is that the development process can be expensive, as I need to print multiple versions and iterations to ensure everything fits correctly, as well as purchase multiple types of switches and boards during the research and development process to ensure a final product that keeps the bill of materials and the barrier to entry low for you. In addition to that, recent events have led to new circumstances for me, and I want to ensure I can keep on making cool flight controls for you, the community, especially with the upcoming DCS releases like the F4E by Heatblur. Plus, there are still plenty of free designs coming out from me in the near future, specifically the F18 Hornet grip that will be released soon completely for free, as will the version 2 of my very popular B8 grip for the F4 and the F5. If you want to support the channel and more cool projects like this, consider subscribing as well, as I have a lot more in the pipe to share with you all. You can download the HCU files right now on my Cults page, which I have linked in the description, and stay tuned for the assembly and wiring video, which I'll be releasing shortly as well. As always, thank you for your comments and feedback, they only serve to make the designs better, and I absolutely cannot wait to see the incredible builds based on these designs. Thank you.